Alright, alright, executive producer. Okay, executive producer Azariah Milan Cartagena. She actually knows this song. Yo, that's your trademark when you turn it off so they can hear like one and done. Easiest job ever created. You play one song, you gone on us. That's what's going on here. What's good, y'all? This is the biggest show in the land. Consistently, nine months straight, we've been bringing you the biggest. Um, Giuliani and Trump, they still out here delusional, thinking they could take the election. Um, That shit just crazy to me at this point. At this point, like, you know, you ever been part of something and then you start looking crazy? And you're like, yo, how the hell I get out of this? Because you just knee deep in some shit, huh? Um, Throwback Thursday. This week we started Reverend Run. We did uh, Louis Guzman from Carlitos Way. We did Snow the Product yesterday. Throwback Thursday, I decided to do something slightly different. By the way, this is the big, 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 biggest show in the game. With the big, 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 biggest host in the game. And so Throwback Thursday, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, We're going to talk about some Throwback Thursday shit. Um, shout out to my brother Khaled. He got his own podcast and uh, Amazon is number one on, on Amazon. He got Diddy in there today. Uh, me and Diddy talked about Diddy did like a top five list. Of biggest anthems. Um, and he said, lean back and all the way up is two of his five. The other ones were Sugar Hill Gang, OPP, Naughty by Nature, and uh, all I do is win, 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 win. And this is talking about the five biggest anthems. And so it's an honor when we look at somebody like, I look at Diddy and I look at uh, Dr. Dre as the Quincy Jones of the hip hop generation. So when he said that, I was beyond honored. Um, and then I stumbled across a conversation Khaled and Diddy was having. And, you know, when you got Diddy, you got so much vibrations going. And you got Khaled, who got the light. And so, and then you got Fat Joe, who just likes to talk shit. So when you got three of us, it's like, I can't get a word in. So you're talking about how Khaled sample. Uh, the Senorita record from Puff. Uh, they're having a love fest about, yo, I sampled it. I shot the video. Puff is like, yo, you know, you did it justice. And then meanwhile, a joker moment but on Khaled's show is, I'm trying to wave, but nobody, they're like, ah, like, and I'm, hello, you. You know, I wrote the hook to that original song, and you know, I got La India on that thing for you. Like, like, you know, I was a part of that, um, the original. And so I never said that in over 20 something years. And you no, know, finally we put that out there, Puff, you know, you know, he agreed. But I mean, you know, I made Candy Shop with Scott Storch, but I made Candy Shop. There's so many records I went in there and was just like, but it's all right. Fat Joe's whack. He's trash. Whatever. Um, uh, throwback Thursday. So I got some exciting shit for you. I might pick on uh, some of the fans to see what their reaction is. So when I think of Throwback Thursday, I'm going to start a category. And listen, this is the first time I'm trying this. And so I got it right. But it might, be, it might not be right enough. Um, so what I'm saying is I'm right. But it might not be right enough. Like I might have left a couple up. So I'm thinking about maybe every Thursday I might do some shit like this. I don't know. So don't kill me. Because once we start naming the best of classics, shit like that, 
everybody gets in their feelings and whoever they think their classics are, which are classics, yo, Joe ain't say such and such. It's not what's going on here. We ain't got but one hour on this show and Pretty Lou comes on after that. And so, don't judge my shit because next week if we do it again, then, you know, we'll have other classics and other things. So when I think of Throwback Thursday, I think Chronic, Dr. Dre. Where were you, yo, Khaled, when you're going to tell the world about the new hit record? Yo, Khaled, you got to stop, man. Yo, Khaled, stop. We're not talking about music. You know, the Big Big Show, I, I, I have a soundtrack I've been working on. For the Big Big Show. And it's a soundtrack for the Big Big Show. So I, 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 I retired slash um, I'm doing a soundtrack and it's fucking amazing. It's, it's, I really can't lie to you guys. Uh, it's really, really amazing. Yo, Khaled, you blowing shit up too early. Chronic Dr. Dre, Khaled. Where were you when you heard da 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 it's the motherfucking D.O. Double G Snoop Dogg. Um, the chronic set the tone and and pretty much had West Coast supremacy. Um, I remember who they had on there, Nate Dogg on there, Das Corrupt, uh, Dr. Dre, of course. Uh, I think Devin the Dude was on there. Um, just fire. It said, you know, Dr. Dre, he has this pristine ear to every beat. Everything he makes is so, the clarity is so crazy that no one can really fuck with that. And so another classic out that camp is Doggy Style. And so for you that don't know, and maybe you too young, this throwback Thursday, uh, when Snoop Dogg came on, we never heard nobody like that. One, two, three, until the fall. Snoop Doggy Dogg. His flow was so crazy that it was some crazy shit. So when I think Throwback Thursday, classic music, I say Chronic, Dr. Dre, and of course, Doggy Style. Uh, fire Signs, if you agree. Um, the next one changed my life, and, um, and be clear, I think I'm just as good as any of these guys I'm mentioning, too, Fat Joe as a rapper, and if you rap and you ain't as confident as me, something's wrong with you, so be clear, I'm bigging everybody up as a journalist, I'm doing a lot of MC worshiping. But just know Fat Joe thinks he's just as good as everybody. I'm, I'm going to put it out there. Pretty Lou, what's good? Illmatic. Y'all, 5'7", Freddy. Emmanuel Lewis. Illmatic um, is beyond a classic. It's a blueprint. Uh, I believe it was the first time an artist just got... All the top producers, uh, Primo and uh, Lost Professor, and uh, and 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 everybody who, who who was on that motherfucker, Pete Rock and Q Tip, uh, lyrically, you know, my first album, Flojo, was like, boss it, check it, watch our record. So when I heard Illmatic Showbiz, uh, shout out my brother Showbiz of Showbiz and AG. Put me in this beam and play me Illmatic for the first time. It really, I loved it as a fan and it scared the shit out of me because I knew if I ain't stepped my game up lyrically, I wouldn't be in the game that long. So uh, I pretty much studied Illmatic to get nice with the pen. And therefore, my second album is so much better than my first album because I'm not going to lie. I really studied that album. So Illmatic, uh, 
Throwback Thursday, super classic. If you agree with me, throw the fire signs. Throwback Thursday, when I'm thinking classic music. Uh, of course, unfortunately, you cannot say one without the other. Right? I'll break it up and say life after death. Notorious B.I.G. Uh, Craig Mack opened the door with flavor in your ear for bad boy. Then Biggie came right after him and blew the whole fucking place open. Uh, beyond a classic, you know, Biggie, uh, we think Biggie's the best, greatest of all time. Many of us think when I do my top five every night, I don't care if they from the West Coast, they from New York, wherever they front, B.I.G. is mentioned. His flow is water. His storytelling is unmatched. Uh, and so B.I.G. became the king of New York when he dropped this thing. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I know B.I.G. was influenced by that Dr. Dre, that chronic movement. So I was in the studio and seeing what they was listening to. And so artists, we could always listen to other music that inspire us. And then we do our own thing. All right, so I told you chronic, doggy style, illmatic, life after death. The next one is definitely Reasonable Doubt, Jay-Z. Um, reasonable Doubt, Jay-Z, he made me want to rap about the streets, hustling, stuff like that. So I came from the streets, changed my life. Let me see what my man, my man, g because you know, I respect what Jason says so much. What he said, cinematic, my, oh, criminal minded. All right, I ain't got time for everything, G Smith. But you know that that album changed my life, criminal minded. And so, let's honorary men mention that. But I think that's a different. That's before this era, right? So I'm telling you from the era. That I came out. Early 90s. Then some. But criminal minded is before that. When To, to mention G. Spin. Criminal minded. We got to do paid and full. Let be Rakim. We got to do uh, Slick Rick. Great Adventures. That's a different. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all making me go into the chamber. If y'all loving what the fuck is going on. Let me see some fire signs. It's the big, big show. Otherwise, fuck it. I'm wasting my time. Strawback Thursday. You know, you motherfuckers, it's almost over. This shit, it's almost over. Back to Fat Joe the businessman, Fat Joe the rapper, Fat but Like, this shit is almost over. Unless we get a big, big, big platform like Diddy says we are. And do this shit like Arsenio Hall or David Letterman, it's over. So this shit you turn on your phone at 8 o'clock, Fat Joe's on here. It's almost over, bro. So let's enjoy what's going on. So I got the reasonable doubt, Jay-Z. Uh, can I live? Uh, all of these shits, you know. I'm out for presidents to represent me. Uh, reasonable doubt. Um, now, this next one is a classic to me uh, and to a lot of people. Uh, Kicked in the door for the Latinos is capital punishment, big pun. Um, I was there every day we made this album. It was like, from the moment pun recorded one record on this album, we knew it was amazing, it was gonna be classic. We knew where it was going. Um, Beat Nuts was there with us every night. Um, and just all the producers who was there, oh, uh, what's my man? He's so quiet, man. Oh, Young Lord, Young Lord. And just so many people to mention 
Uh, but of course, lyrically, at that moment right there, I don't believe nobody was better than Big Pun, lyrically. Um, his breath control for being such a big guy. Um, first Latino to sell two million records. Uh, Boricua Morena, huge, huge mainstream hit. Of course, the Twins deep cover. We had joints like that ass Leche on there. Like, you know, when you heard Big Pun for the first time, and we rap for everybody, but God forbid you find out he's a Latino too, you was like, holy shit, this, this, i never seen no shit like that. So I'm going to mention that. I can't mention every classic album. There's people who would want to stab me. People want to hear about Andre 3000. People want to hear about Outkast. I can't tell you about every single classic album. Honorary mention. Uh, Five Mics in the Sauce. They took that. Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. So my guys from Atlanta called me the other day on the phone. And my New York guy, Jeff Dixon. And they arguing. Who's better, Goody Marble or Wu-Tang? And obviously, I'm going to take Wu-Tang because this is my family and we from New York. But I was trying to break it down to my brother Jeff Dixon. Yo, organized noise, that is the Wu-Tang of fucking Atlanta. <laughs> of the South. And so, the thing that's so dope about hip-hop music is that it's so diverse. This is the reason why creatively people couldn't take the hip-hop game and just duplicate it and do whatever the case may be. Because you can have somebody like Remy Ma talking about which I could bring Pum back. Blah, bitch, run that. Then you can have Miss, Miss Lauren Hill talking about Zion. It's the diversity is so... Uh, Amazing in hip hop. If you like where I'm going, fire signs, please. I got to see lots of fire signs because, you know, this is great for some people. For some people, they want to kill me because their albums are the best. Their rappers are the best. You know, um, so this ain't the Big Big Show Awards. It's just Throwback Thursday and things that represent Throwback Thursday to me. Um. I'm going to give you two R&Bs, right? We got to go with Mary J. Blige. I say 411, but everybody says my life is even better. And so, yeah, yeah. When you say Wu-Tang, you say the Purple Tape. You say only built for Cuban Link. It's just too much shit in that Wu-Tang chamber. Right? But like I said, this is just what we're doing right now. So Mary J. Blige, my life or 411. Um that is throwback Thursday. That is classic shit to me. I think it's 411. Everybody says my life. Yo, Dre, family ties is a classic. It was your birthday yesterday, Dre. We can't, you know, we could have juiced it yesterday. Right now, it's a shameless plug, same family times, and it is a classic. But the next R&B, I'm going R&B light. So we good on the Mary? Do you guys agree? Let me see some fire. Okay. The next R&B classic would be Usher Confessions. When this thing came out, Usher's Confessions, this is what I call <laughs> Throwback Thursday for real. Uh, where were you at when you heard Usher's Confessions? This guy was dancing and flipping on one hand, uh, doing the most. And, you know, once we mention Usher, we got to, you know, Chris Brown is way after Usher. 
So Usher got that. Oh, Dre, you like that, huh? And so fire signs, if you think uh, Usher's confessions was a thing. Uh, obviously, we know what's up with R. Kelly. Obviously, he would have made every list in the universe. But for right now, he cannot make this list right now. Okay, so I don't want y'all to think I'm delusional, but let's just say uh, there's an elephant in the room when it comes to this R&B classic shit. There's an elephant in the room. Uh, let's see if y'all ready for this. So far, if I'm not wasting my time, let me see fire signs. Otherwise, I'm watching this show on Amazon Prime. It's called... Gangs of London, that I can easily go to that. Gangs of London is, if you like shoot 'em up, bang, bang shit, let me tell you something. <laughs> they figured every way in the world to kill somebody on this show right here. This the most amazing shit. I love movies like that. Shoot 'em up, bang, bang. They, and, and, and this is the sickest shit I ever seen. So fire signs, we good? We big, big showing it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know we talking about music. That's why I had to like not lie to the people and act like, you know, we really lived the life. Like, you know, things really happen in life. And now we try to, like, forget everything that happened in life. But it really happened. And so that that, that was the, uh, we won't even call that an honorable mention. We'll call that elephant in the room. Because, you know, he killed all of them, people, with the music. You, you know that. Um, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh... Are y'all ready for this one? So you want me to give me a breakdown? I said Throwback Thursday Classics, Chronic Dr. J, Doggy Style, Illmatic Reasonable Doubt, Capital Punishment, Life After Death, 36 Chambers, The Purple Tape. Uh, geez, I can go on and go on. You know, Mob D, uh, Infamous, it, it's just, let, let, it's too much. Okay? And I watched other people who call themselves journalists put their fucking whole kneecaps in their asses talking about what's the greatest of all time. Look, there's tons of classics out there. We can't just tell you right now in this hour or in 24 hours all the classics. So now we're moving. Jesse Keg, what's good? We're moving over. Are you ready for the next subject in Throwback Thursday? This is a good one. Let me see the fire signs. Ciroc, a much finer vodka. This is when you know you're a bad motherfucker. When you got the people engaged and all you're doing is talking shit to the people back. And this is when you know no gimmicks, no fuckery, no... Uh, destroying the icons. No, just talking about shit we love, right? Baddest chicks. You know the crack Joe Crack from the Bronx would say the baddest. The ones you used to look at. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you about the baddest guys. The baddest chicks of all time in that throwback third in this situation. If you're ready for this shit, fire signs. Y'all, Dre, you tuned in tonight. Oh, the button up? Yeah, you know the drip. I mean, I left the faucet on. Don't do that to yourselves. You know, I, you know, I, I don't play with these guys. 
See, I do it for an era, this throwback Thursday shit. And anybody who's from my era, any guys, whether you had money before or you ain't got it no more now, just know I do it for you guys. And so when you see me come out there every day, dripped out, fresh to death, pushing the illest whips, I'm doing it for you guys. And I'm showing all the other generations how we do it. Now, if you guys still had that cake like you had, you be shitting on me with the fly shit. So don't be mad at me. Just know I'm representing our generation the way fly dudes would. Fire signs if you're feeling what I'm saying. What's going on here, man? Don't make me argue with myself. Y'all fucking up the vibes. Y'all fucking up the vibes. A butler in here. Okay. Are you ready for the baddest chicks? Just my list. First one. If you love this shit, I need to see immediate fire signs after I say this name. Apollonia. Apollonia. Baddest chicks. Throwback Thursday. Look, that, look, let me tell you some G-Spin because you've been doing radio for many years and not you in no way, but you know what's going on in this game. Watch everybody jack what I'm doing tonight. Every so-called journalist, every man, they're all going to jack. This DNA that I'm giving out right now. This is a DNA right now. They are going to jack this. No, guys. Apollonia. Are you feeling Apollonia? Fire signs. And I cannot say Apollonia no, we talking about baddest chicks, beautiful, sexy chicks. Y'all telling me a bunch of tomboy rappers and sh girl rappers and shit. That's not what we're doing here. We're talking about baddest bitches. That's it. Fuck it. I said it. Too much to rock. I let it go. Bad bitches. And beautiful young ladies, independent, whatever. whatever. So I went first with Apollonia. I can't do Apollonia without doing vanity. Remember Vanity? Bruce Leroy? Apollonia Vanity. Fire signs. Buck, 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 buck. See, they're not wavy like us. They don't know the wave. They've been little richer than me for a long time, man. They got me like little Richard. And they've been Elvis. Not now. Fire signs. Apollonia. Vanity. Remember Vanity from that Bruce Leroy. This next one is certified. Miss Naomi Campbell. Miss Naomi Campbell, supermodel, Nigeria's own. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't gonna front on you. She really wasn't on the list, but honorary mention, Sade. Honorary mention, Sade. Um... Naomi Campbell still looks like she's 20 years old right now. Okay. Are you ready to hear the next one? Fire signs. I don't feel like y'all participating with me. And ladies, let me see your fire signs. Even though I'm saying bad bitch. You know, I know y'all hating too. But let's, let's be real about this. Uh, the next one has to be Haley Berry. Haley Berry 
has had the throne until recently. Haley Berry was the most sought after chick since the beginning of time. And uh, that scene, bro, that scene in that movie, whoo, sheesh. So when Apollonia, Vanity, Naomi Campbell, Haley Berry, the next one, or I'll give you an honorary mention. Uh, remember Daphne Ice T's ex-wife that was on the cover with him? With the shotgun in the G-string bathing suit, one piece. Let's give her an honorary mention. Ice T's ex-wife that was on the cover with the shotgun. If you ain't see that cover, that needs to be your, your screensaver 2021. Sheesh. Okay. Let's get to it. If you're loving the list, let me see them fire signs. We went Apollonia, we went Vanity, we went Naomi Campbell, we went Haley Berry. Next on my list is Nia Long. Nia Long. Similar to Haley Berry, any woman you see cut that hair down short, they just know they purdy. They know they purdy. It's a different type of confidence. When a young lady got this short hair cause she know she's bad as fuck. This is Throwback Thursday and we're lit. If you're looking at the screen, there's nothing more fire signs. We are lit, the people are engaged. We are making something out of nothing. Fuck COVID. Baddest chicks, Apollonia, Vanity, Naomi Campbell, Haley Berry, Nia Long. Honorable mention so far. Daphne, Ice T's ex wife, who is on the cover with the shotgun. Next one on my list Janet Jackson, AKA Miss Penny. Janet Jackson. Next on the we not doing like B pluses. We're not even doing A's. We doing A plus plus plus. This is bad chicks. Janet Jackson. AKA Big Pun's favorite. I see everybody. I'm gonna have to say it because you're forcing me to say it. But I believe that J-Lo's from another era. I think she came after this era. But obviously, J-Lo's one of the baddest to ever walk earth from Selena to Money Train. To, you know, y'all want that. But I'm talking about an era before her. Apollonia. Vanity, we never even heard of J-Lo at that time. Naomi Campbell, we didn't hear about her at that time. But I know y'all want it so bad, I'll give it to you. Because she deserved any era. And she's the baddest and she's still bad. But I'm telling you, we can do this every other week, you know. Nia Long, so we going, no sir. I see some names there, just <laughs> no sir. It's Apollonia, Van Vanity, Naomi Campbell, Haley Berry, Nia Long, and Janet Jackson. Can I see some fire signs? And also J-Lo. J-Lo would have made next week because I believe she's an era after these young ladies. But okay. There's no way you're going to make a baddest bitch list and not throw J-Lo on there. The next one was this era. The next one was this era I'm talking about. And that was Lisa Lisa. That was Lisa Lisa. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Lisa Lisa was the era before J-Lo. 
J-Lo was studying Lisa Lisa. I'm just keeping it real with you. Somebody said Pam Grier. She's before all these errors, and boy, she was bad. Pam Grier is something out of this world. But Lisa Lisa, when you're talking about hot Latinas in this era, Lisa Lisa. And then I'm going to shift over to the more than obvious, Miss Rosie Perez. Everybody wanted Rosie Perez back in them days. Everybody wanted Rosie Perez in them days. So my list of hot chicks is y'all forced me to get J-Lo on an era that she don't belong in. And so I'm going Apollonia, Vanity, Naomi Cam Yo, boy, y'all can't fuck with my list. Y'all go ahead and do whatever shit y'all want to do. Y'all make your own shit. It's, I'm destroying you guys. If I brought them all out at their prime and said, where's the chicks at? Who's going to? I got Apollonia. I got Vanity. I got Naomi Campbell. I got Haley Berry. I got Nia Long. I got Janet Jackson. I got Lisa Lisa. I got Rosie Perez. Honorable mention, if they was with the shits, Ice-T's ex-wife Daphne, come in the bathing suit with the shotgun and all. That's this week's Throwback Thursday Baddest Chick list. Throwback Thursday, I said, what's Throwback Thursday to me? Let's have some fun. I started with classic albums. I went to The Chronic with Dr. Dre. Just in case you just came. This is not the pandemic. This is the bandemic. AKA, let's get money during this pandemic. It's the bandemic. Ciroc on the vodka. Fan meal if you want to get to know people. Chronic Dr. Dre. Doggy style. Illmatic Nas. Reasonable Doubt Jay-Z. Capital Punishment Pun, Life After Death, B-I-G. Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, The Purple Tape, Outkast, Usher's My Confessions, Mary J, Whatever You Want, 411 On My Life. Bad Chicks, Apollonia, Vanity, Naomi Campbell, Haley Berry, Neil Long, Janet Jackson, Lisa Lisa, Rosie Perez, and y'all forced me to say J-Lo. If you ask me, she's an era after. Ashanti's not in this era. She's way after this era, guys. Ashanti's not in this era. Uh... Also, honorable mention. Hold up, let me know. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> listen. Uh, fire signs, if you appreciate what's going on here. I throw the curveball. I'll give you Reverend Run on Monday. Tuesday is Bachanga, a.k.a. Louis Guzman. Wednesday, Snow the Product. Throwback Thursday. Nobody's fucking with this. It's the biggest show in the game. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Nobody is fucking with this. Thank you. We working. The flannel was out of control. I know that. I beat with the jeans. I know. Oh. Uh, Pram Greer is before this era. And she's bad as fuck. Like, so we want to, we could mention her for life, right? Uh Throwback Thursday, classic movies. Throwback Thursday, classic movies. Shit lit, man. I should turn.
turn this shit off right now. Shit lit. Okay. Okay. Number one on my list, Throwback Thursday, classic movies. Let me see the fire signs. Let me see the fire signs. Number one on my list. Coming to America. Coming to America. Yeah, Holly Robinson could have made this list, but she fu she fucked my niggas, my, uh, Mike Tyson over. I couldn't even put her on the list. That's just a fat joke shit. Honestly, she should have made the list, but I can't fuck with her. Um, um, for what she did to Iron Mike. I'm, I'm keeping it real with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lisa Bonet was a serious one. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody can't make the list. Everybody cannot make the list. Then that's a mean one you got there of uh, Coming to America. Coming to America. And now, honorary mention. The girl that was the lead in that Coming to America. She did that Black Street video too. I didn't want to say her because I don't know her name. And, you know, she was bad as fuck. So you know King Jaffe. Next on my list is Eddie Murphy's Raw. I know Richard Pryor killed it before. And Richard Pryor is the greatest of all time. But for me, going with the whole Forest Projects, we went to the Dover Theater. Uh, and we seen Raw. I actually got thrown out. The movie theater. I'm a guy that I laughed so much that I got thrown out the movie theater. Security was like, yo, you got to get the fuck out. The whole movie theater looks in the, I'm just, it was too much. I want to have Eddie. A full fool. Oh, that was Robin Givens. I'm sorry about that. Not Holly Robinson. You're correct. Robin Givens should have made this list. She fucked up on Iron Mike. Robin Givens. Sorry, thank you for correcting me. So movie number one is Coming to America. Movie number two is Eddie Murphy's Raw. Fire Signs. Now we get into the shit I like. This the shit that I like. The Godfather. The Godfather. Sheesh. I learned so much from the movie The Godfather. Michael Corleone and the Don Corleone. When they shot up the Godfather, they said, yo, Michael. Now, you know, years ago, I could never get that close to your father. He was slipping. The Godfather. When he kissed Fredo in the forehead. Let you know that you can have family bloodline. You can have friends that's not even blood like that. And they keep it realer with you than your own family. So you can't always pick your family. 
You're born into them. Some of them is fuck niggas. It is what it is. So the Godfather taught me that if you earn my trust as a friend, I'll love you as much as my brother. Fredo threw the whole family down the drain. If it wasn't for Michael, they wouldn't have came back. The next one was the best one to me, but it definitely had the hood in a frenzy. Scarface. Scarface took over the world and had everybody thinking they were Stoney and Manolo. From rags to riches, the man was washing dishes and became the biggest guy in the world with tigers. Fire signs, if you're feeling scar face. I see you, 11. What you know about this list? Uh, so, so far I said, coming to America, Eddie Murphy's Raw, The Godfather, and Scarface. See, I'm talking about an era before. I see a lot of people saying Bronx Tale, but Bronx Tale came after this. And Bronx Tale is one of my favorite movies ever. But it came after this. So I'm saying Godfather, Coming to America, Raw, Scarface. Let me lighten it up. Purple Rain, let me see the fire signs. Or if you if you fuck with Purple Rain, get an emoji with purple. I know there's purple emojis out there. Purple Rain, rest in peace Prince. If that shit hit different. Camilo was good. Stroll back Thursday, classico. So I gave him my music classics. I gave him my baddest females classics. Now I'm into the movies. So I got Godfather coming to America, Raw, Scarface, Purple Rain. Morris Day, the boys was fools. The next one would be Brooklyn Zone. Do the right thing. Spike Lee's own. Do the right thing. If you fill in the category, let me see the fire signs. If not, peace to the gods one. Tony Montana, is you kidding me? Okay. Gotta keep me going, man. This shit like Pac-Man. I got to see them fire signs to know I'm doing the right thing. Purple Rain, y'all wasn't really fucking with Purple Rain? Y'all really going to do that? I ain't seen no purple shit. Y'all ain't fucking with Purple Rain? Terrible, man. Godfather, Coming to America, Eddie Murphy's Raw, Scarface, Purple Rain, do the right thing. Radio Raheem. Man, y'all making them drinks uh, stronger is what y'all doing. Don't fuck with me. Y'all don't want me drunk in this fucking house. They give me the pure. Like, if it's Ciroc, it's, if Puffy made it some shit called Ciroc 1000, I don't know what they want out of me. They gave me some shit. Okay, now it's this, 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 this the hood. 
Juice. Juice. I got enough to go around. Juice. Ivan Barrios, huh? Donnie Brasco was a mean one, but it came after this. It wasn't, it wasn't around this time. Godfather, Coming to America, Raw, Scarface, Purple Rain, Do the Right Thing, Juice. Fuck Radimus. Um, Juice changed the game, changed the world. Um, it was the birth of the Tupac we know. Um, obviously, Tupac got several classic albums, All Eyes on Me, all these, you know, like, like music too, right? He, the Pocket's one of the greatest of all time. That's it for Juice was uh, it. Omar Epps, uh, Special Ed, uh, the girl from In Vogue. Woo! That's another bad. She could have made it. She could have. Let's go there. The girl from Juice, the, uh, 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 the girl from In Vogue is on this list. T-Lover, you know her name? Dawn, ay, ay, ay. It's in deal. Dawn is on the list. The Dawn from uh In Vogue is on this list. Uh so we got Juice. The next one is New Jack City. Nino Brown, Harlem's finest, G Money, Keisha, Rockabye Baby. Juice, New Jack City. Okay. So we went Godfather, Coming to America, Raw Scarface, Purple Rain, Do the Right Thing, Juice, New Jack City. Now, let's go there. Boys in the hood. If you feel in the list, Fire Signs. The movie Paid and Fool came out a whole nother era after this. That is a classic. But it's a whole nother era. The word Paid and Fool is, is hard because Paid and Fool, the album, which is a be, beyond a classic, Eric B. Rockham is before this era. And the movie, which is a classic, is after this era. So it's going to be plenty throwback Thursdays, but let's just say uh, Tretch and Juice. That's right, my brother Tretch. It was his birthday, Trigger Tretch. Love you, Tretch. Uh, Boys in the Hood. And of course, we got to say Menace to Society. Menace to Society. Everybody still yelling, Ricky. Uh, Menace to Society was another... Classic film, throwback Thursday, fire signs, if you're filling my list. Godfather, Coming to America, Raw, Scarface. Raw, I got thrown out the movie theater, guys. Uh, Scarface, Purple Rain, Do the Right Thing, Juice, New Jack City, Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society. And I might throw one in there just because I feel like it. I don't know how many of y'all remember I'm going to get you sucker. We'll hug you with the fish tank pumps. That's just an honorable mention. Uh, Throwback Thursday is almost over. I told you the baddest chicks in that era. I gave you some classics. They're not all the classics. I don't want to see me on the blog some more shit like that. Joe ain't mentioned this. Joe ain't mentioned that. This is just this week's classics. Next week we'll have another list. Uh, I perform like Mike, Tyson, Jordan, Jackson. And we're going to end it. Iron Mike Tyson. Michael Jordan. Michael
Michael Jackson. If I can be like Mike. And so Mike Tyson. Shout out to my man Marvin Tiffrey from 980 Trinity Avenue. I used to go to watch the Tyson fights with him. His grandmother's Honduras. She be making the rolls fresh. And by the time I'm looking at her baking the roll, Mike Tyson knocked somebody out. I am Mike Tyson. The first time I saw him was at the Apollo Theater. In the hallway. The man's neck. I seen him from behind. His neck was this big. I am Mike Tyson still getting a check. Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time. You may get mad at that. You may not. But the greatest of all time. And it was very, very uh, mind-boggling when I found out that he was born in Brooklyn. Michael Jordan was born in Brooklyn. I always thought it was North Carolina. He was born in Brooklyn and then went down to North Carolina. Uh, Mike Tyson, Mike Jordan, and Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson off the wall. Michael Jackson moonwalk. Michael Jackson shiny jackets. Michael had the mask before the pandemic. Michael Jackson had the mask before the pandemic. Things that he was on the cover of magazines for. That we used to look at him for the little Botox of the lips. Everybody is normal shit. You cannot look at Instagram without people. Girls with the big lips. With the fucking Botox. Everything we call them a weirdo for is the regular shit now. Everything we ever call them a weirdo for is regular life. So... Who would you pick as the greatest Mike? Would it be Mike Tyson? Michael Jordan? Or Michael Jackson? Let me see. And so... You gonna make me choose? Cause I asked you which one is the best. Wh which one will we pick out of the three mics? And I see fire signs, and I appreciate y'all being involved. But what mic would you pick as the greatest of all time? Yo, Jay, what you say? God damn. Okay, let me see. Okay. Y'all want my pick? Let me see fire signs. And I'll give you my pick and I'll give it to you and I'll tell you why. Although I have Michael Jordan's on, although I've had Mike Tyson on this show, no one is greater than Michael Jackson. And because what he did with music ahead of time, what he did with his professionalism, his dance moves, what he did for the people, the way he gave back to the less fortunate, how he cared for humanity, uh, how he was a star from he was five years old till the day he died, he was a super duper duper star. No one has been able to come close. So I'm going to have to pick Michael Jackson out of the three. But man, Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. If I can be like Mike. Guys. Thank you for tuning in. Tomorrow night, we got a bunch of big guests. 
One of them is the champ of the world. Edgar Balanga. Why you want to get me saucy, man? Are you trying to, like, take me down? Is that what's going on? You like my flannel shirt? So you trying to give me that raw, that, 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 Shirak Buddha? No cut? You trying to take me down? She's trying to take me down. DJ Ramo, what's good? <laughs> I'm going to take you down, girl. Y'all listen, man. I'm going to tell you like I always tell you. Uh, God is great. Believe in God. Put God first. Um, rest in peace to my brother Tony Sunshine. His mom's passed away. Uh, everybody take care of your health. Everybody try your best to take care of your health. There's a lot of our legends that are hurting right now. And they're sick. Not just our people out there, but legends in this rap game. That I can't tell their business because they haven't announced it. But we got a lot of people that are really, really ill out there. That you know and love. And their icons and legends going through some real fucked up health issues. And parents passing away after parents. You know, we, we, we sent off a great lady from my hood, uh, Elena, yesterday. And then right after that, Tone Sunshine called. And what do you tell somebody? You know, I got my mother and father, and my mother's watching right now, and I love you, mommy. And I pray for my mother every night. I toss and turn. Whenever I toss and turn or go to the bathroom, I pray to God for my mother and father. It's bad out there. Everybody, please protect your health. And I'm not talking about just old people. I'm talking about everybody. Take care of your health. And the obvious is COVID-19 is beyond real. It's beyond real. You got my brother Will Unique fighting the COVID right now. You have a lot of people fighting the COVID that just ain't telling you they fighting the COVID. It's hard out there. And so, please, take care of yourself. And mental health, think God. Think peace. Think the light. Think the light. Go towards the light. Think God. God will get you through anything. God will get you through anything. That's all I can do. When I can't answer it, oh, you got beef. Well, you want to go beat somebody up? All right, let's go. Oh, you wanted this and that. Oh, you need a couple of dollars. Here you go. Oh, yo, Joe, I'm fucking sick. Like I might be going. All right, hold up. There's only one answer. There's only one answer to that. Cause Fat Joe can't do shit about that. Let's pray. So if you're loyal to God, do good times and bad times. When you're having a good time, you're having a good meal, pray. Thank you, God. Thank you for the steak. You're having a beautiful day. Thank you, God, for this day. Whatever. All right, y'all. It's the Big Big Show. I hope y'all enjoyed Throwback Thursday. Uh, I thought I'd switch it up for y'all. Um, tomorrow night, we got the young boy, uh, Edgar Balanga, knockout king, 15-0. Knocks them all out in the first round. No one since I am Mike Tyson has done that. I got other guests as well tomorrow night. But Edgar Balanga got a fight Saturday, which should be over so fast that we can watch it and go to verses. We got Keisha Cole. We got Ashanti. Major problem for me. Major, major problem for me. Because if Ashante would have went up against anybody in the world, I'd have been with her. And I am with her. So I'm conflicted. Because Keisha Cole is my sister too. And so I got a problem. 
This is a major problem. So I'm like, oh, foolish. I trusted you. I trusted you. So bad. So bad. And then one second later, I'm going to be like, yeah. Like, I got a problem, guys. I wish I was one-sided with this one. I have a huge problem with that versus. But the same night, my young boy, Edgar Balanga, is going to put somebody through the ropes. Like he did 15 times in a row. Question is, is it the first round still? He knocked everybody out. He only he had 15 fights and only fought 15 rounds. Because he knocks them all out the first round. And so, we're going to have Edgar Balanga on here, a couple of our other friends on here, big boys, you know what we do. Say nothing new every night. We give you the biggest in the culture. And the, and the, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I was on Wendy Williams yesterday. She was like, man, your show so diverse. Fucking right. You talk to politics, you talk to sports uh, announcers, you talk to rappers, you talk to doctors, you talk fucking right. Put God first, the big, big show. Peace, y'all.